Hello, my name is Dave Sfroza from the Alien Orthodox. I never served in the military, but I do want to talk about PTSD and CPTSD, Complex Post Traumatic Stress Disorder and Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. They're basically the same. This one involves childhood throughout your life, and then the other one involves something horrible that happened to you, like war. Or something traumatic, like fucking almost being killed. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna laugh a lot like a lunatic. I'm gonna smoke cigarettes and fucking drink beer, because that's, that's what's helping me. Um, it, it does help. It, it does. It's, it's, it's a pacifier. It's, this is a pacifier. The worst thing you could say to anyone that's going through this shit is to get over it. Or you need help. Like, yeah, they f we fucking know we need help. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I got this new cackle laugh that I know it's my brain wanting me to survive, so it makes me laugh. But it's I'm not happy in life. That's what's weird. It's like, it's like uh, I call it now universal bipolar disorder. Like something really shitty happened and more shitty things happen, but my mind has to make me laugh. It's fascinating, actually, because I went to school for psychology. I wanted to help people with depression. And, um, I, I, I fucking, I was, it, it's, fuck, I don't want to make this about me. Okay, the worst thing to do is to separate the person that is in need from the family. The person just wants a family. Like, at, this is horrible to, for me to say. At least the people in the military that went through this fucking horror and drama and death, they were with a group of people. They had their family. Uh, but to not to have a family, and then to exile you and be like, we don't want to hear it. Oh, I'm going to get into uh, uh, me going to psych wards. Because uh, that was a horrible experience. That's the worst thing you could do. Send them... S no. I in drugs, too. Fucking drugs, no. Like, self-medicate... Uh, I'm self-medicating and cigarettes, alcohol. I would say marijuana does help. It does help. I've done it. I, I don't do it now, but it, it has helped me through situations of not committing suicide. <laughs> That's so weird to say, but I'm being honest. Um, the worst thing to do is like, the person just needs a fucking goddamn an ear, someone to listen and to understand. And one thing I learned and saw that other people have experienced also when it comes to PTSD or CPTSD um, is going to counseling <sighs> like I finally was able to leave my house one time <laughs> Jesus Christ and I, I went to my brother's house and I started talking about what I'm learning in counseling because I learned some of this stuff in college about psychology and talking about it I'm already twitchy I'm already like fucking like shaky kind of didn't want to go but I'm like you know I need to get out and do this stuff I need to get back into the world again <laughs> oh fuck you god damn it um I went there and I started talking about counseling and why things happened. And I was bombarded with two people screaming at me where I'm already twitchy. <laughs> dude, you don't do that to someone going through PTSD or CPTSD. It's like, dude, don't, just, just don't. Sometimes you just, they need to fucking relax because they can't relax. You, We can't re fucking relax. <laughs> That's why we're doing this shit, dick. It's simple as that. Um, but the last two weeks of counseling, 
Well, uh, first, I, I went to counseling for over a year, but uh, it was first uh, it was once a month, but then once I was diagnosed, it was once a week for a year. In the last two weeks, it was the one before the last second week before I was done with this session of counseling type of, uh, I don't know what it's called. I used to have a fucking stupid plaque, but it doesn't matter. Um, that you might not want to talk about this in front of fam friends and family, because they might get ex upset. Well, thanks for telling me now. <laughs> at the fucking end of this counseling session because almost a year ago I was talking about it of what I'm learning and understanding and it backfired so it was it was, it was bad it made it worse it made it worse so my point is just learn to fucking understand fucking humans it's the old school philosophy you just Learn and understand fucking other people, god damn it. Uh <laughs> Cause you know what? They might have an unused boot knife behind the camera. And if you wanna tell them get over it and they fucking jab you in the neck and tell you just take a hot shower and get over it. Oh yeah, that's where I wanna talk about fucking me being in a psych ward. Like, even though this is a bad joke, sorry it's a bad joke, but it's true. Um, I don't want to hurt anybody. I've never been in a war or battle, you know, it's... Um, God, where's I going with this? Yeah, don't, don't fucking swipe someone from underneath their feet and ask them why they're not getting up. It's because you're being a dick. You know, we all have to have fucking compassion and understand this shit. This is the self-awareness, or give awareness to CPTSD and PTSD. No, this shit's fucking real. And if, and if you fuck with somebody that's already fucked up and they know they're fucked up, like me, like, you know... People like me, we just wanted a family and someone to listen and ear and to understand and, and just, just, you don't even need to tell them what to do. Like I've had uh, siblings say, you need to go, uh, you need to get outside. It's like, fuck dude, I want to go outside, but I can't. <laughs> it's like, I got fucking triggers going on and it's making my brain go crazy. And you don't get it. You don't understand it. And then, uh, or it's like, do charity work. Well, it's like, dude, I don't even fucking have a job. If I'm going to go out and do charity work, I at least want to get paid for it. Like, I... And, it, and then it goes back to ego, to where, in your self-esteem, to where it's like, dude, I can't do what I used to do. <laughs> like, my cats jump down from a goddamn counter or something, and I get a trigger, and I'm like, what the fuck? It's, it, it sucks. And people don't understand this shit. And it kind of pisses me off. It makes me angry. <laughs> and I see, I see good uh, quotes online towards like, let me take a baseball bat, break your legs, and tell you to walk it off. It's, it, there's simple quotes like that that are, it's simply the truth. Like, just walk it off after I just fucking broke your legs with a baseball bat. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. And it's, it's, and it's, it's mental. Like, I'm able to do shit physically but it's I'm fucked up fucked up in the head and then I actually here, here's a oh uh, damn I didn't even talk about me going to this psych ward twice first time was okay I was okay with it because I understand why family was worried because I was literally suicidal and I tried to kill myself and I told my family I don't if you're suicidal don't tell your family either Stop yourself from doing it. Please stop yourself from committing suicide. Call one of these hotlines. Or also don't tell other people about it. Unless you f find a website where you could talk to people that understand it. Because being sent away from your family is the worst fucking thing. That was my point. That's the worst thing you could fucking do because you need a family. You want a family. You want people to understand. And, and they don't. 
so they'll send you away, which makes it worse. It's so fascinating how that is. <laughs> Jesus Christ, see how the cackle laugh. God damn it. Um, it was the second time I was psych ward. Uh, oh yeah, that's a bad thing. That was really bad. Um, doctors made bad jokes. Nurses made bad jokes. Actually, the first time, nurses were really evil. It was like an evil movie. <laughs> it was like a fucking evil movie. But they put you on psychotropic drugs, which I was always against my entire life. I'm, I'm, I'm a Russian, so I drink beer. Or uh, other liquors. But yeah, they fucked at your head. And they didn't give a shit. <laughs> and it's like, we're trying to make you better. And it's like... <sighs> Now I want a gun and a bullet. <laughs> it made it worse. So, I got more stories, but I'm going to try to make this as quickly as I can. No, I couldn't even write. No, there's no quickness. Uh, my Oh, here, here's a good story. Uh, going to counseling. The court ordered me to go to counseling. I sort of tricked the court so I didn't have to go to counseling. Um, but me being with my lady Helen, a couple weeks later, I'm like, you know, I, I can't live this way. I need to go to a counselor. So going to counseling for over a year, there were times my counselor couldn't even understand what the fuck I was talking about. Like, I'm like, oh, and that's why I'm doing art and stuff on, on Facebook and, and doing memes to where it's like, imagine if someone's shaking your head up and down, back and forth, spinning you round and round, then stopping you suddenly, then asking you to do a math equation. Like, it's not gonna happen. Like, you can't fucking focus. <sighs> and people are just like wondering why you're crazy. Like, here, take this psychotropic drug <laughs> that might make you suicidal. <laughs> um, the anti-anxiety medication stopped me from k killing myself. But the antidepressants made me hallucinate in not a fun way. Hallucinogens should be fun or observed and uh, or have a sitter to where like magic mushrooms or psilocybin, ayahuasca, uh, DMT, stuff like that. I've researched this shit and it, it could help with depression and anxiety and to reset your brain but it's like, now I'm alone. <laughs> now I have cats that help me. <laughs> and my ex-girlfriend that's now my best friend, one of my best friends, because I have two from high school also, and also my dad is listening to me. So this is, people that are going through the shit just need someone to listen to, or someone to listen to them. All right, so even though I wasn't in a war or in the military, but I, yeah, I was in a war. <laughs> I was part of the weirdness of the universe. Um, I want to end this with the Hellraiser box over here that reminds me of Hellraiser. And uh, Don't Tread on Me, the American flag, peace, and family. So. Sorry this is 14 minutes long. I love you. I hope you understood. Hope you learned from it. So goodbye and yesness.